So tell us a little bit about your experience here as a parent um, at Chattanooga Valley Elementary. So our oldest son is 16 years old, so he is a sophomore. And for whatever reason, being the first child, it was like this monumental decision on where to send him to school um, for young parents. And we looked into Christian school, homeschooling, toured here. And I don't think I know, like my young self then with my first, did not really kind of think about the importance of being in the community and being part of a community. We had lived in Chattanooga, went to Covenant College, lived in Chattanooga, then moved to, into the Flintstone area. Um, and now looking back, I think our decision to continue to send our children here is more about the importance of being where God has placed us and being part of that community and knowing that community. And without having children here, there's conversations I just have in passing with parents, seeing the needs of the kids while I'm here volunteering that I would not know if I had not made, if we had not made the decision to send our kids to a community school. We live here and we go to church in this community. Um, we live in a very middle class neighborhood and we go to a fairly middle class church, um, but that is not reflective of the economic makeup of our community where our church is. Our church is in a very rural, poor community, and with that comes the problems of poverty within a rural area. Um, and I think it would have been very easy if did not did not have children in the school to isolate myself from the realities of poverty and the hopelessness that that causes in families. And so being in the school, just seeing the need that only Christ can fill in these families that just feel hopeless, that they don't see a way out of this community. And even though Chattanooga, Chattanooga is five miles down the road, they, their lives are here in this community and they don't see a way out for them or for their children. Um, so I think by my children being here, it's opened up my eyes to what a mission field Walker County is and the mission field that our church has such a unique opportunity because we're right across the street. And um, geographically, it's just not a far reach. And I know when we think of missions, we often think of somewhere across the sea, but really it's just across the road um, from our church. And there's so much hurt here that just needs Christ. So um, you're crossing some socioeconomic boundaries, and you're, which means you're also crossing some cultural boundaries. Mm -hmm which means there's um, some challenges going on in your own heart and mind. Can you describe some of those? Yeah, I just think even recently, I was at a um, band concert with my daughter and this little girl came up to me and she was in tears. And I said, sweetie, and I just know her from subbing here because she's not in my daughter's class, but from volunteering and being in the school, I knew her. I was like, sweetie, what's wrong? She's like, my mom's not here. And I was like, okay, well, here's my cell phone give her a call and when the mom came my my heart is like I cannot believe this mother did not show up for this concert but when the mom got there she's like oh thank you for letting my daughter use your phone and sitting with you and she said I just don't know what to do she said I'm a single mom my parents never came to anything she said I should have been here right and I said yeah I said this is kind of a big deal she tried out and she made this band and she goes next year I need to make an effort to be here, don't I? And I was like, I said, yeah, I said, I'd encourage you. I said, you're gonna be so surprised about the amount of talent your daughter has to play in this band. You're gonna be overwhelmed. I said, I would. She said, okay, well, and so I just think like in that little interaction, my heart kind of was like judgmental, like, why weren't you here? But then when I heard her heart, like she just didn't know. She just didn't have the skills to know how to support and she didn't need my judgment. She just needed someone that she barely even knew to say, yeah, this is important. Um, so I think like being here, being in a school, it allows those opportunities to speak into someone's life that it really wasn't that major of a interaction between her and I or the daughter, but it did afford me that ability to say that to her. And I think in that showing her Christ. So, um 
sort of generalizing out, you're our point person. Um, you kind of do a lot of coordinated communication mm -hmm. and volunteers and stuff like that. What do you think some of the greatest struggles are for us as a congregation um, in loving our community well, but especially in loving Chattanooga Valley Elementary School well? I think part of it is busyness. I think there is a core of families that have children here and have children at the church and that go to church. And so we see this is our definite mission field because our children are here. And I think there's a tendency to be like, well, my kids don't go there. So I have to give to my school. Um, also, I just think it is intimidating to walk into a new place. Children for some people are intimidating. Um, so I think there's just the hurdles of time, responsibility, feeling the responsibility, um, and then just feeling inadequate. But I think the thing and I've come to realize through the years is the kids here, they don't want a lot from you. They want a hug in the hallway. They want someone to talk to. One of the girls the other day said, you always ask me how I'm doing. Like, to me, that doesn't seem like a big thing to ask someone like, oh, how are you today? But for her, it sticks with her that say that. So, but I do think that hurdle is getting people to see this beyond a school, but as a mission field to the kids, which hopefully then transfers to the families. Because when they feel people loving them, they'll communicate that to their families, and the families need to see that love and feel the love of Christ. How have you seen, um, whether in you or in your family or in the congregation, um, our interactions with the school and with the community forming Christ in us? Or growing in sanctification, whatever language you want to use. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, for me personally, I think Growing up in a very middle-class family, going to church in a very middle-class church, um, it's very easy to be isolated from the hurts of the world because everybody kind of masks it very well. Um, and by being in the school, I think it's opened up my eyes to it in a way that I didn't see before, um, that I still struggle with that judgmental feeling um, but really seeing what is behind the hurt in the families um, by being in the school, I think just has increased my knowledge of what Christ has done for me and then my responsibility to share that with other people and other people that may not look like me, that may not make the same decisions as me, um, may not have the same educational background as me, but that needs Christ's love just as much as I do. Um, so I think it's kind of, for me, grown that understanding. And I think for my children, it's grown an understanding of thankfulness for where God has placed them, but also just um, an awareness of the brokenness in the world and seeing that firsthand in families and in children that they're in class with. And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that my children are seeing it and having the discussions with them about it. Um, what do you think would happen um, to Chattanooga Valley? What, how, would, how would you describe Chattanooga Valley if Chattanooga Valley Presbyterian in particular, but also the, the, the other churches um, were to shut their doors? Um, yeah, I mean, in the school, you would definitely see a vacuum of volunteers, supplies, and support for um, the teachers and the staff here and the children. And I just think with that, if you took the churches out of the picture, there'd just be a big gap um, and a gap in the community. And there's not a lot of, I think Heather and Tracy had said it, there's not a lot of businesses around us. We're not a highly commercialized area. And so if you took the churches out of ministering to the community, there would definitely be an effect felt.